All right. What are you doing in the garden besides dancing? Come here, kid. Playing with dog. No. We actually have a chore down here today. What is it? No, not a chore. Yes, a chore. So, two years ago or three years ago, or I don't know how many years ago, the rabbits ate these two pecan trees off, and every time they were dead, give up, go plant another one. Well, they came back, and they came back really strong. But this year, let's see if I can get to move, move this. Yeah, the rabbits are after it again. Look at all that bark damage from the rabbits. And they're only doing it to find pecan trees. This is a problem. So, what have we done here, son? What did you make me? A little cage. Okay, and it's far enough away that the rabbits should have to now be. shouldn't. Now, if the flying rabbits come in here, they can come in through the top. <laughs> flying rabbits. Okay. Flying squirrels, that's a possibility. All right. So, it's got a little damage, mostly just bark damage. But, um, and the other thing is, is this really, I think it's a rabbit because of how small it is. But it could be a deer, correct? Deer eat tree bark too, don't they? I don't think so. Yeah, they do. Oh. But normally on fruit trees. So this isn't the only one we have to do either, is it? No. Let's go see the other one. Now this one has a little bit more damage down there, doesn't it? I reckon so. But it's not just the bark. It's kind of some damage. But we have little nubs coming out. It's still pliable, right? Yep. And your little cage is going to protect it from anything else, right? Except the flying rabbits. Right? Alright. So, there's Murphy. Alright. Anything else going on down here in the garden? I know. It's got a rusted out bottom and it's got more water in it than when it, was, than when it was a water trough. So, but that's okay. Take your bath. Okay, you just jump right on in there. All right. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so RJ put my cages around my um, trees down there. We already have some onions coming in. It is not even the end of February. Well, it's not the last day of February, but it's close. It's right at the end. So there's the onions coming in. Um, not a whole lot really going on. This is the herb. This has got to be cut down. I, I started to work on it and clearing it out. You can see down here in the bottom, little greens coming up. So I don't want to clear out too much of that because I feel like um, I have not seen any spinach that's a binding spinach, so it should come in a little bit, I don't know, um, it's our first year to do it. I was supposed to top the trees, but that didn't happen because they didn't ever go dormant. I've got more layers of stuff on this, and I have this pile here. I'll come out and clean this up. These pretty much don't really um, compost away, so, well, they do. They just take a really long time, so I'll probably end up putting them in the burn pile. Uh, let's see what else. The herbs, some of them are still here. This is why we do containers in this area. If you look, the water has actually been up to right there. If you can see that water line, it's been up to there and it's going down, which is a good thing. So um, we have everything in this spot um, in containers. We tried to compost here to build it up. There just isn't enough compost to get the job done and I don't want to have to get a big tractor in my garden. So we just put tubs out and we've got um, two more to bring down from up there and then this is going to be our container garden and we think it's a pretty good way to control um, how much water goes to our plants. There is holes in all these containers, the, um, the bottoms, so um, they just can soak up the water that they need. 
which is good. Um, this is lemon balm, and it's actually planted right in the ground because it loves the water. And as you can see, it's already starting to come back. This is my lavender. This is some thyme that's holding on from last year that was overshadowed by the zucchinis. But it is a perennial, so I'm really hoping that it comes back really good. Uh, and then, of course, the sage over there is also perennial. I probably could have bedded it and made it last through the winter, but I didn't. Um, let's see, what else? You saw the things there. I've got to go and get my uh, marigold seeds and get them out here. This right here is a strawberry bed, and it looks like we've got some green coming back. Like we have some rabbits eating on it. <sighs> I have to put something over this too. So, yeah. Each issues, but I may make something to put over this and uh, protect it. But we'll see. Um, let's see. Anything else? I think that's it. I haven't really done anything down here. Um, we still have our seating areas. I haven't mowed or anything. It's too wet to mow. But, uh, yep. <coughs> and on further inspection, we did see that the rabbits have been after our apple trees a little bit. So, yeah. Um, they're eating bark on just about everything. So, and I'm pretty sure it's rabbits because of how low it stays. Apparently, they don't like our pear tree. Um, I thought this one was the one I saw another little spot. Yeah, see, right there. So I don't think, they're liking the apple trees, but I don't think it's deer because it's so low on the thing. So, yep, we'll see how it goes.